Welcome. All right. I can't see anything so far, but I'm sure we are live right now. Hello and welcome, everybody, to the finals of Outfit Wars 2023 on Miller. And we have a banger matchup. Uh, gonna watch this together. Dick T versus LPS. And what would I do without my better half that is once again Glenn? Hello, Glenn. How are you thinking this game will go? I'm thinking this is going to be close. Uh, I think this is going to be a very good finals. And I'm actually going to be surprised to see the team walk gates. Let's we'll see how it goes then. All right. Yeah, I would say, uh, what's your fa who's your favorite in this matchup? Um, I've, I've got to say that Dig T probably is going to have a, a bit of a struggle uh, with winning this, but I don't know because uh, both teams have got um, bonus players, I believe. <laughs> Nicely wording, bonus player.
Um, I'm getting nothing on my stream. <laughs> yeah, same. Okay. L LPS have got uh, a, a Floyd Sunday on top of the powerhouse on Granite Head React. I don't think that it wasn't planned. Oh, that's very big. Still have a Sunday in the in the uh, in the covered area one side, but Dig's struggling basically on the mid base at the moment. But I think it's, it's a bit early for this to be a big fight though. Yeah, like they are committing lots of nanites from the get-go. I I don't think that is how it should be, but I see Max is committed. I still see vehicles on the minimap as far as I can identify them in the 8-bit version. Uh, we'd also plead, can we find out what the pop numbers on the base is? Because we'd like to know where the, real, the main effort's going right now. Yeah, if the ops cams could enlarge the minimap, that would be really appreciated so we know what the pops are. I mean, it it looks a bit weird in that this looks like uh, a squad, squad and a half in the top two both teams. So I don't know where everything, everyone else is, but maybe there's another squad on another point. Um, what I find especially weird in this scenario right now is that they are duking it out so early. Like, they're still, as long as the, the points are as they are, they're still three minutes on the clock. You yeah, they take forever. Yeah, this will take forever. Like, this fight is not something yeah, you can, can we, sustain. Can we move out on the ops camps or something else? What else we got on the map? Yeah, that's, that looks good. Northern base is, is close, if they get all three points. Yeah, can we have a look at the better gorge, please? Unfortunately, we don't see the timers uh, in the 8-bit version, so we don't know how far down the timers are. Ops camps, can we go north? Yes, can we go up to the, the northern lane, please? Well, right now we see the action oh, well. on Granite. <laughs> we're seeing, we're seeing, okay. Yeah, the map overlay, okay, so the map overlay uh, is not real time. I just verified that on stream. So we cannot really uh, tell what the timers are on the other bases. Um, the, the quick seconds we got up the north, uh, it did look like that was about to get taken, but no, I don't know. Yeah. So hang in there, chat. Once uh, technical difficulties are fixed, we will have the true live action on this one. So far, we're gonna enjoy some nice skirmishing here on the, uh, on the double stack on Granite Reactor. It looks like LPS is on the back foot, as I mean, at least. Uh... Now we got no signal. We're trying our best, folks, um, with what we can see. Yeah, stay oh, patient. It looks like the stream is seeing things that we're not seeing. Okay. Anyway, we're not on the northern base now, and they're both really close. So it looks like both timers are pretty much synced. There. I'm there. Uh, I just got a link to the real time thingy, but also that real time thingy tells me nothing, unfortunately. So uh, it looks like Dicti got middle base and LPS got north and south. Uh, we'd love to tell you what happened. I have got a clue. <laughs> it, if I can trust that thing. <clears throat> It means that uh, LPS got the northern and southern base, while Dick T got the middle base. Yeah. But it's a strat. Like, this is not guaranteed. Okay, yeah, it seems like... Uh, yeah, it seems like the real-life feed, uh, feed, at least on our side, has been fixed. Uh, now we just need no 8-bit pixeling. So Dick T are pushing straight for the warp gate. 
I believe. Oh yeah, I'm I'm staring at a bit eight bit food, so it's difficult for me. Okay, overlay is being fixed as we speak right now, so yeah, it has already been fixed on uh, on the live feed. So that means uh, with that bit of a struggle done, it means that LPS right now is in the lead with 5 to 4 in territory control. As we are aware, everyone, because I know you guys are Giga uh, IQ chats. Um, it is all about territory control. I know people tend to believe it's actually hitting the warp gate base, but no. <laughs> Teams win by territory control. So right now LPS is or does have the favor, but this can turn around fairly quickly. Uh, it's 36 minutes, about 36 minutes still to go. And uh, we have seen from Big T against, uh, in, uh, against FFS in a match against FFS, that they can turn it around and gain momentum against an opponent, even so their starters were not ideal. I I'm can barely see anything on the screen I've got here, so I'm actually looking at the screen more often than around here. Back and right. We appear to be having technical difficulties on the stream or the things. So I hope you can at least see something, Craig. <laughs> the live stream is actually better than uh, what we have right now to work yeah, with. Yeah, the live stream is a lot better. I've been mean, watching that, I could actually work out who's winning on the clock. Yeah. yeah. The problem is the live feed is one minute delayed, so yeah. we would we would commentate on our own delayed comment, so that makes no sense. Uh, so, LPS is certainly winning on timers here. Okay, we're now on the northern line. No? All over the place. Okay. Um, well, this is the most interesting feed we've ever done. <laughs> certainly. Right, let's try and see. Okay, well, we'll, we'll just try and say things and hopefully our, our, our OBS camps will try and find them. Let, let's see what's going on with the tank battles Is the, and the air battle. Does anyone know what's currently happening with that? Maybe, maybe not. Can, but it's uh, like one third of your of your uh, feet, so it's still pixelated. It's and eight feet feet and, and, and tiny. Yeah. Nope. Nope. The quality might no. The quality is still shit, but it's tiny. It's the not quality cool. is uh, still pixelated, and it's uh, only like I have you on full screen, but I only see. Like something like 320 P or something. We might be better off just grabbing some obs cams. Oh, but then you'd have to set the stream, that's not going to work. Yeah, I unfortunately have not set up any stream right now. Okay, so uh, on the hope that people are still listening, um, so LPS have. Uh, shut down all the caps on every base that they were being attacked on and they're going for the middle base and they're going rather well for it, no less. And they also would appear to have some degree of air control, but I can only tell you that by a minute now. Just 
Yeah, I'm watching this on the streams quite nice. Yeah, the stream uh, for the order is... Oh, yes, I've got uh, oh, yeah. at least a lot of picture. We can, uh, yeah, run. we can we can uh, now see in high quality. Never ending air hammers. Uh, this is the classic scene of you have completely lost air when two air hammers can sit out of the room's ground hand. All right, so let's get control of this here. Just like Dick T needs to get control of this match. <laughs> yeah, um, but for real, LPS is doing a very good job bringing time on the uh, bring time on the timer, the having air control. The, uh, uh, by the way, we hear the uh, ops cam. Uh, the production team, we can hear the coordination between the ops cams that you would have to turn off. Um, for anything else, I'm fine with no sounds, honestly, as long as the quality stays up uh, and I can actually see what's happening on the menu app, then that's fine. So, uh, LPS... Ahead, looks like they're gonna lose it at the right this is going. Yeah, but look to the north on the minimap. Bitter Gorge is uh, ticking for yeah. the T, so it is the run for the timer on both sides, and whoever can disrupt the opponent team more uh, gets the lead on the timer. And I would say, can we have a, a switch to Bitter Gorge real quick? I would say that uh, Bitter Gorge is. Yeah. Uh, they got scored on one. And they're, they're the neutralizing third. each other on the uh, uh, on the far off uh, points. So it seems like Dick T got control of uh, Granite Head. Yeah, Bitter Gorge is a bit of a mess. Uh, but the, 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 at least that's a Dick T tank I've seen driving around. So that's the first bit of tank I've seen anyway. That also means, uh, can we have a look at hydroponics, uh, please? Because there, a timer has started, and LPS is, yeah, Ooh. LPS is setting up uh, nicely inside. With one minute already on the clock, Granite yeah, had in their up. favor as well, and they defended Bitter Gorge. This is like the whole momentum is now in the key's favor. Uh, I'm guessing that they clearly haven't got any pop here at all, which is not good. Someone never uh, Once again, uh, for the production team, we hear the ops cams uh, uh, coordination. We need to check the um, feeds. Um, I think I think Omsicam is currently doing the same reading for this team. Uh, I've uh, gone. I've got it let the time ago so he can regain the list. Hey, that looks like a Unfortunately, Glenn, I can't hear because I have Zofa in my ears. <laughs> I tell you what, you, you try talking and I'm gonna go and like talk to Zofa. Okay, yeah. Let's do that. So, uh, let's see. It seems like, can we switch over to Bitter Gorge real quick? It seems uh, Dick T has the second air. Took a second breath there and has the timer in their favor now. They actually captured it. Okay, nice. Uh, at least uh, according to the live feed, uh, Better Gorge went to Dick T's favor, which means for the first time in this match, Dick T right now would win if the timer hit zero. Of course, we still have 26 minutes to go, so everything is back in the open. Meanwhile, LPS looks to sit strong on hydroponics. Can we uh, flop over there to hydroponics to see what's going on? Okay, 1 minute 22. LPS Sunder is actually yeah, this, inside. This is the gamble they've taken. It's deliberately let the timer go down. Uh, so far, I can still hear you on the live comment feed. So, some audio input is wrong for you guys. I shouldn't be able to hear you guys on TeamSpeak when I'm not on your channel. Uh, anyway, uh, Dick T needs to react to this. Uh, otherwise, LPS will get into the 
But they've got a squad here. But it's actually very likely held on points, so it is possible for Dig T to hit it, but I'm sure LPS will come back to it. But Hydra okay, is Dig T pushed door one, going in. No, no, stay Hydra, stay Hydra. Stay, stay Hydra, please, thank you. Dig T pushing in door right, one for door three. This save is critical, because if they get this fully saved now, and I think there's some weird planet shenanigans going on on the map, because it looks like. There was multiple bases that are connected to each other, where only one should have been running, but both of them were running. Yeah, on uh, Bitter Gorge. LPS got LPS the timer on Bitter Gorge. Today. Like, while Dig T has the, uh, has the advantage on the map, that doesn't mean much, because all the timers are ticking against him right now. Yeah. I mean, the hydroponics, they need to really clean up, they need to find that Sunday. And it looks like they're pulling maxis from that Sunday right now, which is probably on why. Unless so we a, can... if, brought, if LPS have brought two squads here, though, then Dig T are in trouble. Uh, all right, second wind on LPS. One minute twenty to go on hydroponics. Dig T managed to get a cap on uh, substation, and there's still an offlane battle on Bitter Gorge right now, but this one is the critical one, and uh, see it on the minimap. Can we enlarge, please, the minimaps of the ops cams? Um, so we see the pops uh, yeah, popping this is in. really bad. Yeah, uh, yeah that's what I thought. Th this, on, yeah. this is Only looking really spot. bad for Dick T. One, uh, below one minute, LPS has a spawn, has air above, has lots of people on the point, and there's 50 seconds to go. I wonder if Dick T is actually giving this one up, which is a very risky move. Yeah, I don't think you can. You can't leave. Uh, yeah, I, I also, I would also be inclined to say they shouldn't do, uh, they shouldn't give this up. But they are at the moment though. Just, I mean, like, there's, there's no point putting one squad in against. Two okay, they're this, dropping right? in. Thirty seconds to go. They are managing up on door three. They know door three is their entrance to delay the timer. And LPS must know they need to lock down those three. Here they come. Okay, so there was, in looking at some of these names, literally very blurry. Oh god. Dick okay, T anyway, managed they, to they managed to clear that up if, if you're noticing that we're occasionally going quiet, it's because in our ears, hopefully not in yours, we're having a lot of comms from the uh, of, you know, But that, that stuff yeah. suddenly needs to be killed. I mean, yeah, that, Dick T needs to yet. be okay. Dick T is aware there is actually a stealth, uh, a stealth Sunderer. So, so all the ones, all this, if they can keep this base going while the other time it goes, LPS have been exactly the same problem because Dick T are now going for their walk as well. Uh, as far as I can tell, I think hopefully the audio of the stream probably... Yeah, it like looks like play. only a we in the cast of, uh, in the Discord caster thing you can hear your coordination. Okay. Uh, so, the guys on, uh, on the main stream should should leave be... a squad here. This is the painful bit, because if they leave a the squad here, LPS will run around everywhere else and sort out some of these timers. But if Dig doesn't uh, leave Can we go to here, substation, please? Walking. Because right now the timer is overtaking the uh, the hydroponics timer. Thank you very much. One minute, 20 to go. Uh, no logistics, sorry. LPS making some entrance on door one. This Monsters this test has been... taken God, but this is a sort of infantry that really can kill it. Uh, I imagine they're going to get over top. Yeah, LPS has the Sunra on the road, so um, they can come in quickly from small stairs, which is the main push right now. Yeah, this Why is the... Oh, this guy. Okay, yeah, this ops cam, by the way, has um, the has the uh, facility. Carlos, different. Like, okay. But anyway, Let's not worry about uh, that. Anyway. Yeah. Or is it? No, no I wait. think it is. Dixie has still got this point, and it's still. How? Point. They had like eight people on the point. I know, but they're still there. I mean, no. Look at the names in there. You've got Canoof, You've got Bacon. You've got a bunch of people in there that can really kill. 
Can we go down to a substation real quick, since this seems to be going through for Dick T, and that would also cement the southern that lane the entire in Dick game T's favor. Okay, yeah, LPS no is just LPS cleaning them up. up. No, they cleaned up. All right. Yeah. So this is a battle for timers now, since LPS makes a move on uh, hydroponics. Big T's uh, now map wise in a much better position now because yes. they've got most of the timers have gone down. It is much better. Like the bitter coach, the flip on on um, substation is okay. They have the timer still in their favor on. Uh, no, on the flip on hydroponics is okay. The substation timer yeah. is still ahead. The question now for Dick T is how much split, like 50-50 fights, do you want to commit? Like you're on the lead map-wise, but you know a 50-50 infantry fight against LPS usually ends in, in your loss. Plus, it so, does look like Dick T, at least on the northern lane, sorry, on the southern lanes, appears to have lost tanks. Okay. So... The, 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 every time I'm looking there, the, there's an LPS tank there and there's an LPS logistics and Dick T can't seem to properly challenge that. You say that, but here on the feed on Bitter Gorge, uh, we have um, yeah, Mac Riders around, so... Okay, can we head over to uh, substation, uh, not substation, hydroponics please, because we should there be on below one minute. Yeah, almost a minute. So if anything, for both teams, this will become um, the hot pot now of uh, reinforcements. Yeah, drops coming in for Dick T once again. Two beacons on the roof, making an entrance on double doors. I mean, this is going to be a problem for LPS. I, it does yeah. seem that if, if they want to kick someone off a base, they can. Okay, so this is... I find LPS decision making a bit weird here right now. They are still in control of substation. Uh, can we go over to Bitter Gorge, please? Are they committing more forces on Bitter Gorge now? I don't, know. I don't understand why they're not committing more heavily to Hydro. Yeah, th that's what I'm thinking as well. Like, why are they going off Hydro so often? What makes them? What makes them do this decision? But it looks like uh, Dick T is recapturing, yeah, is uh, defending Bitter Gorge yeah, quite I mean, heavily. I don't see any evidence that Bitter Gorge is going to go one way or the other. I mean, there's tanks and stuff like around. But there's both teams have tanks up here, but no one. Dick T doesn't seem to have any tanks on the southern line. Yeah, Dick T is uh, sitting back on the point on um, on substation. So that timer should now be far in hydroponics. Yep, but that is anything but a stable hold. Like, they are already having losses on double doors against the LPS. Yeah, I can actually the main thing. <laughs> Two minutes ago, they're, oh, they are trying to end the uh, stuff in. Sorry. But there's there no one around to take out. Oh, actually, they took it and they pulled a lightning instead of an end. That is a questionable idea. I and you to pull it out. Yeah, okay, so the, this point, there's, any, there's no one on point, so it, like one guy gets to flip it back. This doesn't look like a full on dig tier attempt on this base. I think no. they might even have met. Uh, can we watch the whole map real quick on one of these ops cams and go from base to base what the pop uh, is? So that I don't know where's the big blob. Uh, current ops cam, can you go to maps, please? And then move your mouse around each of the bases we see the pop. Okay, that is 1 to 12. Uh, what is the pop on Bitter Gorge? Up in the north? Because that seems to be, for some mind boggling reason, be the main. Uh, main yeah, point. this seems to be the main battlefield. Even so, there are. It doesn't make sense looking at the map, though. This, this makes zero sense to me, what uh, LPS is doing up there. Yeah, uh, switch over to Bitter Gorge in the fights. Why is LPS so invested in Bitter Gorge? 
I don't know, because the time, I think the time has started once again on both the bottom seven places. I mean, yeah, it's just like they, they are flipping the timers on the southern lanes, but they are not committing to them. And instead, they always return to the Bitter Gorge fight. Like, look at the amount of vanguards that are up there. Holy moly. I know, they put lots of armor more. to clear I think uh, it's Dicti. really hurt them on the south lane, because now it, that time is going again, I think. Yeah. Uh, Dick T has uh, con no, not yet. Yeah, well, they are about to defend uh, hydroponics. So let's go to substation again, please. That should be around the minute mark. But at some point, both outfits need to realize. Oh yeah, they need know, to they... commit. Oh, the LPS has committed now. <laughs> There's quite a lot of people in there. Less than a minute but to go. LPS needs minute. to realize. I mean, this is Please don't go through door one. Please don't go through door three. Yeah, go through there. any door, and if you are going to go through door, kill with the barrier. Don't go through one. You're Good shot through. here on the max with an archer. Unfortunately, there's a second one. Uh, but yeah, but this looks like OPS has got double Dick's numbers. Dick T's numbers to uh, clear this. At least inside, yeah, that's true. The, the pop uh, was 50 50 on the map itself when the ma uh, map was unmerged. So both teams basically have neutralized each other on the map. To summarize, and strangely, the, the, I mean, the air battle appeared to be. I mean, at one point early on, we saw it that uh, LPS was winning the air battle, but now I'm seeing a, like an ongoing air battle that's just that's still happening. I, I could I could guess that is because um, the logistics are actually suffering on both sides. Like, of course, they are dropping, they are redropping with Valkyries and everything, but they have no sustainability in that. So, some air control would actually help in pushing the southern lane, whoever gets air control. Oh, okay, I see what's happening. Dig T have lost air, but they, they, what they've done is they pulled some air in just for a short period of time so they'd have the ability to redrop in. So, I think Dig T haven't got air control. Yeah. That looks like lots of Reavers in the worked. sky. It might look, look, they got back on that base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like I said, the, they can go to the base. That is not an issue for both sides. The problem is sustainability. Yeah, but I mean, they're getting the timer down each time and now it's sub 50 seconds. That's true. And if it requires overpop to kick him off every time, then you've, you've got to win somewhere on the map. I don't think that should I... be pushing that fight. I also like that Dick T is trying to skirmish outside and not have LPS uh, give uh, LPS any room I would to like maneuver. It. I'm not sure if I like it this time around. They all got slaughtered out there by Maxis. <laughs> okay, 28 seconds to go. Nades need to get out now on the oh, LPS Maxis. And the LPS Maxis need to realize they Ooh, have nice to get people. away from the one. And that MG is very nearly dead. And that's anti repped on the Max. 10 seconds, seconds to go, seconds. nades Ooh. out now on all sides. And it seems like Dick T has the advantage. Big C4 outside on door one. Three seconds, they've got stopped on three seconds this time. I but the map is looking say... really good. Nick They're Nick. getting it. Oh my god, there okay. Go. That means Southern Lane now is almost, almost secure for Dick T. Uh, what it really means is that, although we hate to suggest that some viewers may have better in their own way, uh, that, that my prediction was far more accurate than that. <laughs> <laughs> So, it seemed like, like we couldn't really check it, but it seemed like the opener went very horrible for uh, Dick T, where they got the middle base but lost the northern and southern base, but now they actually turned it around and killed off all the momentum for LPS. I mean, LPS, given that whenever I'm actually looking at the sky, they have air control, I'm not taking advantage of it, really. Yeah, that's... Especially, like, that is... it's a good, you'd expect it to be a hell zone if you had air control on it. It is one thing for air to, to win the dogfights and get the numerical advantage. It is another thing to actually make that numerical advantage into an actual map advantage. And we have seen it time and time again in all the matches here on Miller, barely any team actually can capitalize on air control that much. 
It is like maybe it's the difference uh, compared to lane smash because it's multiple lanes, but uh, yeah. So LPS is trying to resecure a substation, which is fine. They still have they still have their offlane team on the northern base. Meanwhile, the team wants to close down the southern lane in capping the tech plant, which is uh, completely fine. So let's have a look on uh, substation, please, because that should be the big fight right now. That's a heavy commitment here on Nanites for LPS with lots of uh, Vanguards and oh, Thunderers. I think they have to. I mean, there's the, the someone screwed up. Definitely. They have to definitely power. commit there. Dicti is using the the walls in order to bypass the infantry from LPS, but they well, need... I've got a few numbers, but I don't think Dicti got very many numbers here. Yeah, I think so as well. Uh, I mean, for Dicti, you know, they are now in a position where they... in. Uh, where they only have to react, like only. <laughs> it is uh, far uh, easier said than done against LPS. Yeah. If they, if they, if they could react properly to secure, and it looks like there's some folks. I think they're going to set some beacons up on the roofs, but I'm not sure. And I don't think this will be enough. Like, look at the setup for no, no, no. Uh, I, I think they're facing two two squads here, am I? Yeah, I would say so as well. Then again, I don't see, I don't see much of uh, of LPS around like dick t can run around the base fairly easily on the outside at least yeah i think so this squad is looking for sundays and stuff but i mean yeah once again this, this vehicle control is, is suffocating because lps can get tanks and sundays anywhere they want it so lps is one minute 20 away from reconnecting mm. um, the tech plant which oh, would... can we, no no gobs can please can we go to the uh, the viper lightning versus oh no we got an infantry push coming in there yep and then air hammer above oh that's disgusting oh. <laughs> wait when they've over rotated over rotate okay one side is trying to take out, out the air hammer we have a cassie vike above Yeah, next to secure is the most important place on the map right this second. If they can secure this, which is a bit of a statement, but they, they should be able to. Then we can look at the back cap that's just started on the other, on the northern lane. Yeah. But I, I think that's Sunday. I think there's some hit. I think what's happening, in, I don't know, that, but I think LPS have invested more heavily into ground vehicle control there's more vehicles or something like that's happening and which means that they've got an infantry shortage somewhere it seems that way Argent pass has been flipped for dick t now as well it looks like uh, lps is slowly but surely losing control of the map even so they have the ability to have air air hammers and uh, logistics around which is honestly surprising that also means Dick T is outpacing uh, LPS. I'm surprised the tech plant hasn't been flipped, to be honest. That's a bit surprising to me as well. Yeah, okay, there seems, yeah, there seems to be a, a back capper fight on the tech plant where they uh, just kill each other instead of going for the points. <laughs> but that's fine. Um, okay, LPS is trying to reconnect Argent Pass. Uh, meanwhile, Dick T has uh, salvaged the substation situation. They're sitting on the half timer there. The stat I mean, we should probably do some stats in a second, but the stats wise, effectively, the core count is more or less equal. This is a really close fight, but on the map, Dig Tier winning. Big C4 here going off uh, to kill the LPS mix. So, I guess. Like, if you are in LPS shoes, Glenn, what do you do right now with seven minutes on the clock? I, I'm, I'm very, very uncomfortable. Um, <laughs> I, I, I don't know, actually. I mean, I wouldn't have let that southern base go, to be honest. But in, in this situation, I probably have to, once again, try and all in on that northern base. But that, they've already tried that. That didn't work. Yeah, but they need they need their, they need to get more of their air converted into ground pattern, or they need to drop some vehicles. That's, okay, that's LPS. What I, think I would do. Making a move here on substation once again. Like their setup is amazing if you look at the minimap. 
so yeah. much stuff around. A tank, air, spawns, everything. Two minutes to go, yeah. But it just can't capitalize on it. Like, well, they're, they're counting in that they got it to two minutes, but um, yeah, but they're losing the tech plan. Like the tech plan is running in for terms the king. All this is the map. I think they're being outplayed. Yeah, uh, they are being. I, yeah, they are being outplayed on the map. So, let's see. We have an LPS can end. We, Very can interesting. Can we temporarily get a, a help cam for the, the tech plant? Just, just to see what is going on there. Because I imagine some the heroic one with one versus one fight is going on. Yeah, this is pretty much what we thought it was. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh no, it's more than two. Yeah, I guess um, Dicty is now committing to this with a bit more pop to make it secure. I mean, once they get the tech plant, the southern lane is it's, it's incredible. I mean, in terms of territory control, this this is really makes it awfully hard to get back yeah. to the here. Yeah. Dick T is um, making sure the timer is uh, ticking down once again on substation. Even so, LPS had such a nice setup. They have the tech planned. It's now 7 to 2 in territory control with 5 minutes to go. LPS has to put in the, the Russian turbo here right now if they actually want to turn us around. It is I mean, technically still possible. Ridiculously good play against each other. With Big T and all of the tricks that matter is making just getting it through. Yeah. The next is secure. You, you look like the one that they committed to, to holding and then they got to top. Beginning of the match went really in LPS favor and Dick T managed to turn us around by defending in the last second on uh, hydroponics and then uh, pushing it slowly down on the southern lane. Why? Why are you doing? Because they can, Glenn. Because they okay. can. I, I don't need to ask questions. It's just an orbital. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Uh, Dick T back on Argent Pass, it seems like. Um, so, yeah, this is... I, do you think LPS people, the LPS players now realize this is FUBAR? Like, ain't gonna, ain't gonna go our way in this time? Um, I mean... Theoretically, it's not Fubar, but in reality, it's Fubar, isn't it? Yeah, uh, it's pretty much Fubar, right? So, with 3 minutes 40 on the clock, uh, with Argent Pass ticking in uh, Dick T's favor, and Dick T holding the pop on substation, we are pretty much. Uh, that mean, is pretty much I think confirmed. I guess they're going to throw back into Nexus Secure because that's pretty much what they've done every time. But... Yeah, I don't see it happening. Because so the time has gone down. Pretty much confirmed that uh, for Outfit Wars 2023, we will have a Vahanu outfit called Dick T become the champion. Probably in the last Outfit Wars ever. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, with a very convincing performance was how they started in the beginning, where they uh, s seems like got pushed off in the north and south, and then had all the timers ticking against them to turn that situation around against LPS. Chapeau. That is very well done, very well played from Dick T here. It's some very good platoon leading and some good coordination between that forces. Yeah. And I don't, they should leave this. This base is gone. It's irrelevant. I think Dick T will have left this. There's no point to be on Nexus Secure any longer. Not with it. Yeah, let's, to let's, uh, let's flip over to Archon. The only base that matters is Northern Lane right now. Exactly. Everything Archon else is irrelevant. Pass is the only thing that can now. Uh, yeah, still every other can count Argent Pass, please. Okay, if, there's if, the max push from a, uh, LPS. You see it on the minimap. They're coming. The yeah, here comes the max. But uh, they, they're going the they, long they, way. They and here comes the orbital. They got harassed. The part they got orbitals. <laughs> and this orbital is going to actually have an impact. Yeah, they're going to eat the child, the children. Is this child child abuse? Maybe. <laughs> um, I you know, you just you just bullied the little children in their max toys, you know. 
But yeah, anyway, uh, they tried it with some max push. They got uh, OS as it is expected. Uh, yeah, last but kids coming in here. Go and you've still got cheese alive outside, then you've got it, haven't you? Actually, look at it. They are actually getting close. Uh, Dick T might have overcommitted outside a bit. I don't know how much is inside, but this is not looking good so far for Dick T, as far as I can tell. Lots of dead people. Up, so they're just coming in from below. So it's gonna be there comes the rush. Okay, people. yeah, there's still a squad in inside. There. Yeah. If they just throw the right maze at the door for the last 10 seconds, they get this. Yeah. Bombs, Throw ammo packs in their face. In their in max. Big T that got it. Gone. And that will be the last phase cap. 30 seconds of dead air now. Big T have officially won the Miller uh, Outfit Wars season. Uh, Congratulations. OP. VSOP, RAL nerf, please. Thank you very much. Dark, Dark Star we needs to be We are very nerfed. seriously talking about that. Please don't nerf uh, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, congrats to Big T, uh, well deserved, well played. They will be the official Miller champion, and I can't wait for the Red Rory memes uh, to kickstart already. Uh, yeah, well done, GG. So, so the question is, are we going to get someone to win today? How are we going to do that? Uh, I don't know what Sofa just said, but something about PSB team speak. So I guess. Um... All right. Sure. Should we also switch over to uh, TeamSpeak then? Okay. Um, but based on... <laughs> I've just seen the cup that's alongside your, uh, your, your duck. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that wasn't quite what you intended on the stream. Ah, uh, it's fine. <laughs> sure so what did we see there what did we see that the opener went very badly for big t and very well for lps it looked at least like that like we cannot i cannot really confirm it <laughs> i would have to rewatch the what uh, myself but it looked like uh, lps had the initial favor they also had the timers against Dick T. But there was a moment where Dick T came back really hard, like where they solved the, I guess, the hydroponics cap from LPS and then managed to get the middle base, uh, uh, not the middle base, uh, got the northern base. I think this might have been the point in time where Dick T knew they can they can do this. They can manage to win on this one. So, what is uh, your favorite um, your favorite bit out of all this uh, match, Lynn? And Glenn is gone. Okay. Uh, players and platoon leads. We are still it's missing like the LPS music. perspective, though. I don't know if they're coming. 
Uh, Flare was uh, available last time. Microphone and activated. Then... Microphone muted. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so let's see. Can um, can one of the production team contact Flares on um, on PSB um, Discord or on Discord per se? Uh, last time he was available for an interview for LPS. It would be it would be a shame if to not have the LPS perspective for this one. Meanwhile, uh, we have uh, the two representatives for Dicti. Hans and Hebel, with Hans being the PL as far as I'm aware, and Hebel early question mark. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Ah, well, congratulations, you two. Uh, you made it so that uh, Vano will be nerfed in the future. How do you feel? Nerfing the was second this week after this already? <laughs> yeah. That was everything at once. So let's start with Hans. Uh, uh, and me had the impression that you guys were outmaneuvering LPS on the map. How how do you think, is that correct from your perspective as platoon lead? Uh, during the, like, we traded uh, the main middle base for the other one, then we just uh, got a cap and uh, we managed to keep the cap going while the other squads managed to hold it. And uh, we just managed to get the timers going in our favor, basically. Just by hard work of the squads, uh, making sure they are at the right place, make also air, uh, making sure we are, those uh, transports are not getting shut down. We could always like get on the other bases or on the lane. Yeah, we, we noticed that 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 although it looked like you didn't have air control, that you could get localized air control just long enough to get transports in. Was that a deliberate effort? It was the plan. Yes, kinda. We or at least like. Uh, when I was planning for the game and knowing the LPS arrows that I was like, okay, I can't fully like warp gate lock them or like get full air control. So I guess I'll have to settle for uh, air control over the bases that are um, being focused by the squads or are relevant for us during like the actual timing. Then it was very well done. We were always wondering how LPS could have so many reavers in the sky, but have so little effect on the on the basis where it actually mattered. Uh, I can also hear the smiles in your faces uh, when you're talking, uh, because that is a very great accomplishment uh, as a with a weaker faction. Let's say it as it is, hey, um, wake up. Vanu in comparison to the uh, to the NC faction. Um, did you when was the moment you guys realized we got that in the back like was it really at the last few minutes or was it a specific point in time when you noticed yo we are actually winning this right uh, uh i would say for me it was a bitter court recap and i knew that if i don't make a few mistakes that i did uh, during the ffs match that we can have it easily in back and we got it uh, like the way we want it. Have it same um, for me, it was probably when the, what was it, next to secure this game cap went through. It was like, okay, I don't want to say the breaking point. Yeah, yeah the, the LPS powerhouse pretty much. Yeah, mm -hmm. at that point, we felt like it's 100%. Uh, Flare is, by the way, in uh, Welcome Channel. User was moved to your channel. All right. Like, yeah, with a bit there, I, think... I felt like the tides were turning into our favor, mainly. And you played that really well. Uh, LPS, even so, they had setups on the bases when he tried. Like, there was still, I first off, I agree with you guys, with both of you. Uh, the moment you actually got Bitter Gorge was for me as well a moment where I realized, hey, Dick T is actually doing this now. And the moment you got the uh, substation or secure station or what's it called. Um, then we basically knew you guys will bring this through because you are as cold-blooded as possible to make this 7-2 advantage uh, to get it in your favor. Um, Hello. Hey, Flair. Hello, Flair. Hello. So we have, uh, Flair from LPS. Uh, we, are already, we were already talking a bit uh, about the match. Um, Flair, you guys from LPS had a pretty good opener, like as far as I could tell, because we had technical diffi uh, technical difficulties in the beginning. You guys got the northern and southern base and had um, 
broad timer on the hydroponics. When was the moment you guys realized, shit, this will be an uphill battle? Uh, when we lost the middle base and uh, we couldn't cap it in like five minutes or so. I think for myself, I realized that this gonna be this game gonna be tough because we couldn't cap uh, Bitter Gorge, and mm -hmm. then Dictator just started pulling a lot of vehicles, and then we lost our vehicles. We couldn't uh, set uh, our scientists for a long time on Bitter Gorge, so yeah, it was very tough to play against them on Bitter Gorge, at least on my lane. And yeah, after after we lost Peter Gorge completely or so, like 24 people are coming to cap the Nexus Secure. I understood that this game might be a lose. So yeah, at the beginning, we didn't lose anything uh, except maybe vehicle fights. There didn't uh, get wiped at all. Uh, they so had hard have... time, but yeah. Do you have an impression what, what method um, or what made the difference? My cat just muted my microphone. <laughs> so, well, thank you very much, Kat. Uh, <laughs> um, so do you have already an impression? I know that's a tough question right after the match, especially in, uh, after the finals. Do you have an impression of what actually made the difference then? Where you, like, is there a factor somewhere that you can already see that tells you, shit, if we had done this one better, then we could have won this? Yeah, I probably had a bit more tanks in in my squad at least to wipe enemy vehicles at first because we didn't contest Chimeras and uh, Mag Riders mm. at the beginning because the, there was so many of them. And then we just that started ignoring them because like uh, we have scientists uh, below points in close positions and when like whole squad spawning, you can't do anything about it. You have to stall for time on points, that's it. Unless someone wants to come and help you. There was something, once again, we, we weren't in Obscans, we were watching Obscans, so it was an interesting view. Uh, but we noticed that the northern lane, it would appear that Dig T was, on average, winning vehicles up there. And on the southern lanes, uh, there, there was no Dig T vehicles anywhere. There, were, there was just non-stop NC deployed Sundays and tanks. Is that like planned or is that just what we yeah, saw? Yeah, it was it planned. Was, it was we expected happening. like uh, air to control our ground at the beginning because there was uh, not enough uh, ESFs at the start as, as the opener. So yeah, our uh, vehicle squad has to go through the middle point, mid middle base, I mean. And yeah, it because it's more safe, it's more safe and they have like better opportunity to defend themselves with more vehicles. So yeah. We kind of gave up on the north lane with vehicles because they are exposed to air. Mm -hmm. Then uh, maybe uh, to do a little, I think we can also slowly but surely conclude um, the interview. Um, maybe uh, for the future, let's assume right now, let's dream a bit that there will be another outfit wars. Um, what do you to like two teams? Uh, what would you like to see for the next season of Outfit Wars? Maybe starting so, with uh, Flair. I would like to see you no know, server issues because quite a few people had a uh, tough time to connect the server, and then one guy crashed. And because of some certain bug, I think everyone knows about it. One guy just deployed an SMR with fast pull. So yeah, maybe. Uh, RPG should, uh, should fix their game before launching anything because they kind of failed at, at the beginning of Outfit Wars with scheduling in the middle of Outfit Wars and then in the end of Outfit Wars. So yeah, maybe start events uh, beforehand and fix your stuff before that. A very valid take. I guess uh, everyone can agree on that one. Um, <laughs> for Dicti, what do you wish to see for the, the future Outfit War? Like as Flair said, fixing the bugs. Uh, I feel like also one good thing they didn't do this season is to not bring a new meta in middle of the uh, season, like last time when they brought new uh, tank weapons, which nobody knew kind of how to use and who got kind of first. You know, 
good advantage and also uh better timing on the season uh winter time is just uh not good for outfit wars in my opinion because christmas right we there are two mm -hmm. weeks in which you have struggled getting people luckily we had big enough roster to go through it but i know a lot of outfits had issues to get even people uh to play the games definitely uh, but you guys are very modest. Like uh, you don't want to change anything on the on the operation itself, like alliances for outfits or anything like that. Like you guys only want uh, actually working servers. That's <laughs> quite uh, interesting. It's a good start. Yeah, like I very, very wanna, modest. I still don't want to deal with the can invite people to platoon because they're an enemy on Nexus. It's such pain. Yeah, that would be an issue with alliances, probably, uh, to get people in the right squads. So, fair enough, fair enough. Then, uh, I don't know, maybe... Uh, well, could be. Oh. Maybe adjust oh. the faction balance a bit, because even though Max has got a bit changed, I still think NC is by far the superior faction. Mm -hmm. yeah, like, in terms we... of Max, so it's... Yeah. Be it Maxis, be it Tankwise, like Vanguard, you know, probably was underperforming last season, so that's why they deserve the uh, Nimitz buff, you know? Really what we needed. <laughs> well, JCX being well, Miles, the best gun on this format. Hey, well, you might want to put Seiko Taka some tags around that in case people didn't get you. <laughs> I think it's majority like... of the people know my tags of, like, uh, NC stuff on Nexus and that, yeah. Maybe buff TR? Buff TR, yeah. okay, so... Uh, buff VS. Uh, yes. Fixing server issues yeah. and uh, fixing the faction balance. Um, last thing for the interview, which is a bit off topic, but I have seen people claiming on the stream chat, um, oh, have no. a made outfit. What's up with that, Hevel? <laughs> yeah, um, how to put it. I made a promise that if we win, I'm doing a made stream. So yeah, uh, I guess oh, I have to so <laughs> look what it's happening. Everyone, uh, 170 people just heard it. We, it is confirmed Hevel made outfit stream. Uh, soon in your area. <laughs> All right. You, you definitely have a fan squad on there, Hevel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Uh, I guess we shall conclude it here. Dicti, go and celebrate your victory. LPS, don't be too uh, disappointed. You had a very good run throughout the whole season. Uh, second place is still very commendable. And yeah, for everyone else, uh, the next matches, I believe, will be the weird uh, Cobalt matches that are happening around midnight European time. Um, so if you're available for that one, then why not go there and watch uh, those teams uh, duking it out for the top three spots. And then later on, we have Emerald and Connery. Until then, uh, I hope you had some fun. I hope you had an enjoyable evening uh, or morning or afternoon, wherever you are. Uh, thank you very much for Glenn for co-casting throughout the whole season with me. It was a pleasure. And yeah, I would well, say... say thank you for the, to the uh, tireless uh, efforts of the other streamers that were attempted to make this a multi-stream effort. We had some technical issues. Why that is true. Remember, guys, these guys are all doing this voluntary, so they are not getting paid or anything. They are just doing it because they have the heart to do it. And yeah, big thank you for everyone that is involved in making these streams happen. And we will see each other on the server or on the next Outfit Wars, whatever it be. Have a good night, guys, and bye-bye.